Is cracking normal for concrete? There's a saying about concrete. You get two guarantees with it. One, nobody's going to steal it. And two, it's going to crack. The thing about concrete is it's extremely strong for compressive strength, but it has a very low tensile strength. Under tension, concrete will crack easily, which is why we add something which has a very high tensile strength to concrete, typically steel. When you add steel to concrete, for example, you're going to have a driveway installed, so you're going to have a grid work of steel bars that are going to increase the tensile strength. But they don't work until the concrete cracks. When the concrete cracks under tension, now the steel bars engage and hold the concrete there. The crack is visible, it does exist, but there's no elevation gap difference. There's no migration of the concrete at the crack. That's the point at which I become concerned with concrete. And if you're wondering how much cracking is normal, you can see a crack. There's nothing that you can do about it. But if I start to see elevation gaps or differences in height, indicating that the slab is moving or sinking or that perhaps there's no steel within the concrete, I would be much more concerned about that. But no, concrete does crack and it is expected and we cut control joints into it in a measured way in an attempt to try to give the concrete a place to crack that we want it to crack to avoid it cracking in the places that we don't want it to crack. It does not always work. If I had a nickel for every time I've seen a control joint cut directly next to a spot where concrete has just chosen to crack on its own, concrete shrinks as it cures and this is one of the main reasons that it cracks it's going to be exposed to forces eventually this is the reality of a concrete slab if the concrete it gets exposed to those forces early into the curing process before the concrete has a chance to achieve some strength well then you could end up with profuse cracking throughout the concrete and that would definitely be a problem some small cracking is to be expected from the shrinkage of the slab, but profuse cracking throughout indicates that there's been some sort of failure here, likely relating to hydration of the concrete or not having optimal hydration. If the concrete doesn't have optimal hydration, it will fail to achieve the finished strength that it's supposed to achieve, but it also will be exposed to these forces from uh, shrinkage before it has a chance to get strong. That's why wet curing or moist curing of concrete is so important. The first three days up to the first week is ideally when you want to moist cure or wet cure concrete, keeping it wet the entire time. In doing so, you never allow it to dry out because if it dries out, it shrinks. I mean, it's going to happen eventually, but that first week, the concrete's not strong yet. It can't absorb any force at all. And so if you don't moist cure it, you allow it to dry out, it does shrink, it's still weak, and boom, you've got cracks everywhere. So those are kind of the main reasons why concrete cracks. The reality is that it does crack. There's nothing you can really do about it. You take steps to try to control it, but there are no guarantees. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank mm -hmm. you.